Houston, Houston can keep you on the perimeter, they are good defensively. It was a most unlikely scenario that has these two teams matching up in this first round. But his ability to roll and catch is just fantastic. Well, you heard that report by Ali LaForce's Gobert finds himself free inside, set up by Favors, and Utah has the first two baskets of the game. Ali's report on Clint Capella. He's dealing with an upper respiratory infection. He has not slept much the last two days. Going up top there, no problem. <laughs> single time down the floor well the Rockets 53 wins they were the top seed last year and slide to the four seed again as Mitchell on the board Houston drops from what could have been the two spot to the four spot and another matchup with the Utah Jazz Tucker inside active they got the offensive board an easy little layup there for PJ Tucker Houston has missed a couple of threes now a turnover Paul right into the hands of favors Rubio on the move Paul's with him and the left-handed layup is good and Ricky Rubio is active early Jazz fans know that when Rubio hits that first left if you're Utah a rematch of the Western Conference semifinals a year ago, won by Houston. Too tall for even Capella. Ooh. Capella able to save it. Wow. And finish with a left hand. Man, he just keeps getting better and better and better. Certainly now part of the big three here in Houston as Rubio hits another one. What a start for Ricky Rubio. Yeah, he needed that first one to go in, and he's going to have a lot of those shots. Not layups, but just a lot of those little in-between 8-10 footers. And there's King in the mid-range right there at first ball. Utah missed their first shot. Five in a row since. Hit a couple of free throws as well. And the three-pointers up and in. James Harden in the points per game. Led the NBA in scoring. Rubio working with Gobert. Dumps it off to the right where Favors was crashing in from the big ball. Gordon on the take with the left. Nice. Favors and Gobert. I like what they're doing. All that penetration has really benefited Gobert and Favors. Utah's gotten smaller now, but that starting lineup for six minutes played really well. Ooh, Quinn Snyder may have a little bit more confidence going with those big guys from here on in. Rockets going Austin Rivers, Daniel House on the floor for the first time. Here's Harden. He's two for two from the home. With Royce O'Neal on the floor. And there's Mitchell up top off the window. That went down on its own. Gobert pulled the hand back, I think, at the last moment. I think Gobert from Hill. That's almost like a pass, Brian, because it opens up Gobert because uh, Capella's got to come over and stop. And same thing as you see Harden just going hard to his left hand and take. This bench unit for the Rockets have been terrific, losing in Bob Mute and Trevor Ariza. Harden looking for a foul, gets the layup. Five points. Rubio leads the Jazz with six. And Harden now has 10. Again, looking for Capella. Right back into the hands of Harden, given 12. Here is House. And Favors. Said he felt good in the pregame warm-ups. And here he is on the floor, inside. Knocked it down. Beautiful 13 starts with the Houston Rockets. And Mike D'Antoni telling us in his mind, even though Harden was dropping 30 every night, as House of Kenneth Fareed. Utah made eight of their first ten, had three turnovers in that stretch. Five and a half minutes without a field goal is Gerald Green. Last year, Houston took down Utah in the Western Conference semifinals in five. Up top for Favors and a two-handed check. Defensively, at least defensive field goal percentage. There's Neto now looking for someone. Good pass, Favors again. Again off that... Shot clock down to four. Royce O'Neal on the take. Working on Fareed, and O'Neal gets a friendly roll. Ooh, nice finish there by Michael Jordan. Oh, 1988-1989. Chris Paul hangs and finishes. Yeah, when you start talking about something, fit it up once, turned it down, dribbled inside the, uh, the three-point line, and just never was comfortable shooting that ball. Seth Losha doesn't take many, but he's been good when he has shot. There's Paul. As that is their eighth turnover. And now Harden on the drive. Harden with the finish. The seize, especially with Harden and Capella. And Harden again asking for a foul. Didn't get it. Utah on the move. Rockets get back well, but Rubio's wide open. They need him to hit it. And he does hit seven from behind the arc. Mitchell and Rubio with the makes. Joe Ingles now 0 for 2 from three-point range. Look at Harden. 
setting up Tucker. There it goes. And James's dribble penetration ability sucked the entire Utah team in. And Tucker had a wide open three. Gobert, nice Ooh. catch and finish over the head. Great nice skill there, Brian. <laughs> That's a horse shot. <laughs> yeah. Hart goes right by Ingles. Gobert there to greet him, but Capella cutting from the baseline with a two-handed jab by Ingles, but right to P.J. Tucker. So, 10-point Rockets lead, under three and a half to go in this first half, and Harden setting up Tucker. Fourth three, and he's got another one. That was steal by Capella, and Paul back on the floor. We'll be patient as we approach the three-minute mark. Little step back three from Harden. There's another one down. Oh, Don, you got to get a couple hoops for Utah. It's get, they're getting awful close here in Houston. They're breaking this thing away. It's 11-2 run. Nice finish by Mitchell. A little Euro Ooh. step and a little left-handed finger roll. He's lucky I'm not refereeing. I call that travel every single time. Oh, you got to watch the traveling <laughs> video they put out. I see so that. So good. Gather two steps. Here's another three. Yeah. And it Three consecutive possessions with threes. Now Crowder will try a step back three. Give it a hard to an ISO situation yep. every time. And it's tough to defend. It goes right by Ingles. Go there and leave it up top for Capella. He was screaming. We have to do. It deflates us. We can't let it deflate us. Yeah, you know the Rockets are going to shoot them and they're going to make them. Setting an NBA record this year. Go there on the tap in. A couple of possessions with Turnal scored Ingles. You know, there was a flurry of threes by the Rockets right around the four-minute mark as Gobert finishes at the rim. And I think, yeah, they hit their threes in bunches, and when they do, they get that separation on these. Oh, what a nice oh. drive by Gordon. And Mitchell, got to get him going. Favors lost the handle, put it back on his own, give him a rebound, and two more points for Derek Favors. Favors has a... Nice defense at the rim there by Faber. Here's Rubio, and he gets it to go down. Ricky Rubio for the Jazz. That includes a three-point make by Rubio. His only attempt up top to Capella. Chris Paul. But Clinton, again, did a nice job of presenting himself and making himself be wide open at the basket for a pass from Chris Paul. Step back three from Ooh. the left to Ingles. And they want uh, Gobert to meet him a little later at the rim. And if he leaves early, Clint Capella will be dunking that ball all night long. <laughs> There's a lob Rubio to Gobert. You might have, here's Mitchell coming out of the pack with it. Another turnover. Mitchell gets some space, separation, knocks down the mid-range. Yeah, that's only by Tucker. Harden with the offensive board. Rubio got stuck on him, and... Harden, the scoring champ. Capella wide open, the turn and the flush. 34, hit May, what a move. On Gobert, misses the three. Bodies on the floor, another chance. Here is Gordon for three. <laughs> missed again, he's missed his last two. Rockets are perfectly comfortable with Rubio shooting threes. Yep. Here's Harden on the drive and the fake. Can't get one to go down. Happy with the original call, but they changed and got it right. Austin Rivers working with Harden in the backcourt. A little late. Phoenix then waived him in December. He signed with the Rockets a week later. His first game with them was the 17th of December. Mitchell for three. Got it. Utah got it within seven. Step back, Harden. Yes! Utah has the upper hand at this point, but Houston didn't knock him out last year. House gives it up, and Fareed throws it down. Run at one point. Jazz got it to five. It's 66-61. Rockets have answered. Here's Mitchell for three. Yes! Chris Paul. At the controllers here with Harden on the bench. There is Farid again! Oh. Older and laid in, like you said, for Utah. And a good pass to Favors. That worked early in this game. Yep. Yep. And clock at the rim by Capella. Great recovery getting back into play by Capella. House in the corner for three! What a nice young man. I really enjoyed coaching him. He's a tremendous young person and just all about all the right things. Easy layup for Chris Paul. With thrust to the basket. And other than Mitchell, no on the floor. Ingles and Favors will sit. Paul. House for threes. He got another one in him. You bet he does. The floor in Philadelphia was not pretty. No. Three in that frame. 
18 point Rockets lead, looking for more, and make it 20. Change. Boy, he blistered the Jazz last year in the closeout game. Yeah. 41 points in game five to send the Jazz packing. Cephalos, 17, a lot of basketball to play though. 7.50 remaining. Harden kicks it. House on the take. House! Oh. Each other in the history of, of matchups against one another, but um, he certainly has the edge tonight. Well, those two field goal percentage leaders the last two years. There's a three. A long three. Rubio missed the lamp. The follow jam by Gobert. Now, you just got point shooting has been a problem for the Jazz here tonight. Seven for 25 from behind the arc. Crowder, one out of seven. There's Harden. Finishes again. Had a tough night for him as well. Had a little burst there in the third quarter. Mitchell with 17 points, but he's missed 11 shots. And knocks one. Way too easy for them, just attacking the paint, making threes, and uh, Houston is feeling really good in this matchup. Chris Paul working on Grayson Allen. First minutes for him. From the three-point line, so all their scoring is coming, you know, from two areas, the three-point line and in the paint, and that's the way they like to play. Niang scores a playoff perspective in the Jazz. You're looking at adjustments. We saw Utah really giving free reign to the lane with James Harden yeah. as Gerald Green. Rockets team, Daryl Morey putting this team together to challenge the Warriors. The sole goal, that's Green. The sole goal is to try to build a roster that could beat the Warriors. It could potentially be a round two matchup and with the rocket uh, uh, that would be the series of the second round i mean golden state and houston but there's still a lot of basketball to be sure. played here with this utah team and again i think wow catching that three he's fever o he's only made 